One more, chill out for a second. We'll go in in a minute. All right, let's see here. Um, Slap some of you out crazy. Yeah. Oh, nuts. All right, so a couple of things. Uh, I didn't think I was ever gonna wear this hoodie. I don't really like the idea of having fake friends. I don't like really promoting that vibe. But yesterday I had just like a day and it just felt appropriate to throw the shirt on. And it may have not been the most positive energy forward movement projection, but now the shirt's on dead stock and I'm wearing it, so it is what it is. But no vlog yesterday, as you know. Yesterday was just crazy. As you guys know, I've been working on this proposal for this tour. Working on that, I'm having to deal with other companies. So I don't normally like or very good at, uh, there's a reason I do shit myself. You know, like I am not really good presenting things sometimes when it's um, to someone that doesn't know me or there's no context or whatever. Whatever, it's just been kind of frustrating. So that is finally getting finished. But yesterday I had all that going on, all this personal shit going on. I had a project here over the weekend and my house was even more of a wreck than usual. I didn't have time to go to the gym. Like it was just like overwhelming. Yesterday was just so overwhelming. Nothing came. Oh, something did come in the mail. We'll talk about it in a minute. Sorry, I just needed a day. And then that's where most of the morning has gone. It's now like 120. I've been working on this for days now. And what this is, so we're looking for sponsors for the tour. I have a list of sponsors who I already work closely with who are being given this proposal as we speak, finally. Now they may fill these gaps up to, for the money that we need on this tour, but but I did think of me and Ern and Sager, Sager's here all morning, sat down, brainstormed a bunch of ideas for a Patreon for the tour. I've really just been working all that out and I have to work all that out this week. This is all just coming up so quick. So simultaneously, as we're um, pitching this idea, this um, you know, this tour to companies for sponsorship, we'll also be putting up Patreon that will have all kinds of sick rewards for the tour. That uh, for some of you that can't come, some of you that are going to come, some of you that just want to support from the road, like from afar, whatever, what have you. There's basically something in there for everyone, and none of it's whack. I'm working really hard on it while trying to keep up with designs and keep up with, because I also have to design everything for the road, everything that happens while we're gone on the road, plan all the road shit, do everything. So a lot of people have reached out too, wanting to help, uh, asking how they can get involved. Right now I've sent the proposal to the companies I already work with. If you have a company and you're watching this and you wanna work with me and earn the whole, my whole squad, you wanna, you have a company that wants to sponsor, help sponsor the tour, uh, you can definitely reach out to me. I'll put an email below. You can reach out to that email and uh, just send me information and we can definitely talk and I can send you the proposal at least. No obligation by emailing me, but in case we have some gaps to fill, uh, I would definitely like to talk to more people who I may not know exist, who have a product that I may actually already even use or not use and not know about. But as far as the Patreon goes, uh, hopefully kind of convinced that we may be able to raise enough just through the audience alone, just based off of the analytics that, I, that we already have. That is possible, which is amazing. But at the same time, I don't want to leave anything to chance. So we're doing both. We're going to try and fill these gaps and we're going to try and make just basically the most amazing summer experience that I can. That's the plan right now. Speaking of which, my house. So people are asking why I'm moving, where I'm moving, blah, blah, blah. So my lease is up. I know time flies, but we've been here since I moved in here on June 15th. It is now May 1st. So it's time to start almost packing. I'm not going to pack yet, but it's time to. And I looked at a house. So I was going to get a house. I was going to, while I was gone on tour for three months, I was going to rent this house. People always ask me why I don't buy a house. If I bought a house in Denver right now, I'd be like paying resale for a house. That's not a good deal. Plus there's many reasons why if you work from home, you should take out a lease. But another conversation. So I looked at this house and it was pretty nice, like pretty big house yard for Omar, all this cool stuff. But then it didn't have air conditioning, which was weird as fuck. It's a huge house with no AC. So that was kind of like, eh, I for it anyway, because I just wanted to, my idea was to move all my stuff into this home, have someone else live there, have it be like secure, whatever, whatever, come home, have my house just basically ready. But this lady did not want to rent me the house uh, for whatever reason, I don't really know why. She tried to say it had something to do with my credit score, but that doesn't really make any sense because my credit score is fine. So I've had bad credit in the past, but uh, it's, it's, not, it's not bad now so I don't really things didn't work out and they didn't work out and that's fine so I don't really know what I'm gonna do I'm either gonna try and find a place to put my stuff in or I'm just gonna put it in the storage I don't really know yet and I have to figure that out before I leave too all right I think we're caught up in what I actually have going on waiting on the new camera I gotta send all these proposals off today Ern's not here because Ern is shipping we had that mystery bag drop on Sunday 30% of it went out yesterday majority of it's going out today and then the rest of it will go out tomorrow straight cash baby girl so I'm gonna wait on this camera send some proposals 
bills, uh, just try to get some busy work done, wait for all this stuff to come in. Have a pair of shoes coming in today, and then we're just gonna hang around here and work. I gotta go to the gym in a little bit, get some food, kind of a low key day catching up, and just really doing boring computer work. But I didn't wanna give you guys two days of no vlog, even though it's a day where I'm not really leaving the house. Except for the fact that Omar over there needs to go on a walk. Do you wanna go on a walk? Do you wanna go on a walk? Let's go on a walk. simulation we want our BMW we want our house that we want to pay all our money for the house we want to buy this dress for our wife we still not here been watching this Kanye interview for the last hour it's time to go to the gym because I'm fucking starving and I'm ready to eat so I'm gonna go get this workout in Omar is tired I'm gonna get changed go to the gym get this shit in make some food probably just a salad Probably got to pick one up because I ain't got no damn groceries packages are here now you know but I'm also, I'm a producer. I like to segue things. I like to take Otis, chop it up. So what's the yay version? The yay version would be the Trump campaign and maybe the, the Bernie Sanders principles. An adapter, a lens, and a camera. Ooh, this girl's small, so now we got the white boy. Small one, I think it's way small. Another lens. Uh, battery of course it's a different kind of cannon battery so now i gotta buy all new cannon batteries so that's tight except not here to the 70d this thing is like so small this is gonna be crazy screen is enormous as fuck well now i gotta wait for the battery to charge so we'll wait on that here up gumshas a sticker, here she's for Ernie. So I got these on a little discount, which made me complete the set of Gosha boots. Uh, this shoe anyway, this is the white hair. Nice, super clean, I had to get them, I had to. Woo -woo -woo. Woo -woo. Uh, email from StockX. For what? It's a great week to be a Jordan collector. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know, it's mail for you. Mm. I was just stealing it from you. No, it's actually yours. Those pants are dope. Those are yours. Oh, They're shit. fucking huge. They're cool. What huge. brand are they? It's Alexander Wang's, huh? Oh, that's... I mean, they're really nice. Like, these yeah. are really nice. But they're gonna... Look at them. I've worn them. And they're white. For and, about, just be... and I've only had them on for about two hours. Yeah. And all I did was go to the gym, come back, and eat a salad. And they're fucked up. Already. Nice. These are here. Cheers. I'm running home, so I'll come back for these, but I want to see them. Nope, you gotta run with the box. Everything must go, sir. We're moving out. That'd be sick. Oh, uh, the lady from the house hit me back. And which I also wrote that smoke weed on there. But I'm pretty sure that's why. But then she's like, we'll let you know if something changes. And I emailed her back. I was like, you don't need to let me know anything. I was like, I'm gonna look for a much better place. One that actually has air conditioning. Are you crazy? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. How's this camera? I don't know. The battery charger. Nice. Oh yeah, we gotta get more batteries. I said pass one of these along to earn if I feel like it. <laughs> I feel it. I love that everyone's always like, if you feel like it. Because they know you drive me crazy. Yeah, even, even though I love you. You want to smoke a joint or something? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. To smoke a joint. God, people are fucking ridiculous on the internet. Oh, yeah. We're recording now. We're yeah, out here. No new, mic on there. New camera. We'll get the mic on. We'll this thing's plastic. I might as well just rip that off. It's well, wait, wait, wait. You might end up wanting it because it's just better if it's raining or something. Um, I'm gonna end up not wanting it because when I try to, when that mic is plugged in, yeah, that's not gonna I turn around. So I'm gonna rip it the fuck off. I, that, the settings will probably be pretty similar. Mm. <laughs> Difference, but I'm just fine. That's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, it's great. Motherfucking out here. New vlog camera. You vloggers stay the fuck back.
We got the Canon Just making M50. sure the mic was on. Bitch. We're here, headed to shoot in the pool with our new camera. Right now, we're using the Canon Zoom Lens EFM 11 to 22 millimeter, but um, I'm gonna switch it up. I've also got the 45 millimeter. It's super lightweight. Just toss it. We're headed to the pool. Sixth floor. Look at these beasts. Wow. Wang, 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 wang gang. Wang, 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 wang. Can't say wang, wang either. Can't really say anything anymore. Right, Kanye? Homeboy's here. Oh, yeah. Nice. What up? Look like we're outside. Like, look, people. It looks so crazy. Motherfucker, we ain't outside. We right here. <laughs> we need a camera. We need some. Yeah, that's what we need. We need some dog time. Dun, dun, dun. I got a lot of shoes over the last few days. There's more shoes coming. There's like a bunch of shit here tomorrow. I got stuff coming in, and we got these the other. We got these over the weekend. Uh, this is the Alexander Wang B Ball Soccer. This is the box. Alexander Wang box. There's like pieces in here that I took off the shoe. I didn't like them on there. Okay, so that's the box. There's two different colors. There's a bunch of clothes. I got the white pants. I don't know why. Honestly, I do know why. It's because I was told I was going to get a discount on them. But then um, it kind of ended up not working out. And I didn't actually get the discount. It just like didn't charge right or whatever. Which is fine because it's all good. Like not a big deal. Wasn't expecting it in the first place. But it's funny because the pants are white and they're going to get destroyed. They're very baggy. Like super baggy. Like very, very relaxed. Everything I've gotten from Wang lately has been very, as far as clothing, like basically relaxed in the pant area and short in the top area creating this sort of that layered 90s look but um yeah the pants are nice but they're white i'm gonna fucking destroy them but they are very nicely nicely made if they made them in black i'd cop the shoe also came with this bag kind of goes with the whole theme just things quality quality control quality controls lined out it's in another language or reused constructed by adidas blah, 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 blah. um i'm gonna assume this is chinese i don't know but wang is chinese name so i'm gonna go with it so this and a lot of the clothing has a very like off-white feel i did really love I think that's hard I think it's hard to separate I don't think Wang is necessarily biting uh I don't think he's sitting around biting Virgil but I think there's just a lot of there is uh it's very popular right now to do like labeling like uh construction type labeling or very uh cutting room floor type labeling stuff so this is just following along it's like very packaging like a label for an international crate or some shit but anyway which doesn't necessarily really fit the shoe because the shoe is like a soccer or basketball hybrid type thing but yeah this is what the shoe looks like it is on par with the rest of the Alexander Wangs and it's quality. It's very high quality made shoe. These were like little, I don't even know what the fuck you would call these. They were on the laces. This is what one says, which is basically QC XXXX 18 AD. So I'm gonna say QC is quality checks. XXXX are the dates for the month and the year or for the month and the day, which don't exist. And then 18 and then AD is Adidas. The other one says Wang 00. Z Wang 0003 STRP, so Wang three stripe on that one. QC18. So those are on the laces. There were three of them on each shoe. I kind of just like stacked like this. I hated it. I absolutely can't stand it. So I took that off. I also didn't like the way the shoe was laced. So when it came factory laced, I might be tripping and I never bought soccer shoes back in the day when I was younger. So like maybe I just don't know. This shoe was laced in the craziest goddamn way I've ever seen a shoe laced. It started under here and then the lace ran up the side and then laced back around. So there was like a crisscross lace underneath and then flat laces on top and it was super super annoying and made the shoe really tight. Like the shoe was just super tight to get on in the first place. So I had to unlace the whole, both shoes and completely relace them how I would lace the shoe. And now they're okay. But the shoe itself is fucking hella narrow. Like this shoe is so narrow that like it's almost, it's it's kind of a bummer. If I'm being honest, bummer how narrow the shoe is because I, it did kind of grow on me. Like I like parts of it. Some of it has like a little bit of a Spice Girls vibe to it. So it, it kind of took a minute to grow on me. But I did like the B-Balls, even though I sold them recently, I did like them and then the fact that they use that same sole and put a soccer upper I was interested in how that huge amount of boost was gonna feel it's not I mean you can feel it like 
if you were wearing a shoe with no boost versus this, you would feel the boost for sure. But again, not really a responsive situation here. It's just a massive amount of cushioning in your heel. Toe box is like Copa toe box, all suede. The whole upper is suede and leather. Really nice suede, really nice leather. There's a lot of little features that I like, you know, like the little upside down jump off. These, this labeling and then the barcode. Although Alexander Wang totally ripped off that barcode thing from a font, just so we're clear. Um, the sizing, everything's on the front, like all the sizing and everything is on the front of it. So I like some of that stuff, like some of the inside out stuff is cool. The upside down trefoil, I think is cool. Admiration standpoint, I think the shoe's super clean, like very super, like super clean looking shoe. Very classic Adidas, very classic soccer, football, kind of meshed together to go into this sort of rave culture vibe that is all the way happening right now. Um, but for me personally, I, I don't think I like this shoe. I like the way it looks. I, I, I've gotten used to the Spice Girl vibe. As far as the upper, like it's so narrow. Like my foot, I had to unlace this thing crazy and my foot's not crazy wide. It just, did, it just doesn't really feel that good. It's like clunky. You know, it's like this shoe is way clunkier. You know, it's like even the 500. I know this shoe doesn't seem as big, but this just feels clunkier when you're walking around. A couple improvements and other things I like, they do have a mesh inline in some parts of the shoe. Down the tongue, there's a mesh inline and that's actually padded. They put some padding in there. So that's pretty comfortable. It's a nice, there was thought put into the collaboration and there's compensation for comfort, but it just doesn't hit the mark with me. Uh, regular Adidas Wang insole, we've seen that. The insole comes out. So just really like a premium, premium soccer. I mean, it's very much like a Samba. Copa, Gazelle, Copa, B-Ball, Hybrid. And um, yeah, for me, and what I like, as you guys know, PK, things like that, it's not for me. So, premium quality though. Very nice materials. If you're a material junkie and that's what it's about, this bad boy is fully loaded. You know what I'm saying? Fully loaded. I'd say true to size because of the wide issue um, constructed to other Wang shoes with the premium materials. Wang, oh, well, there's a cord in here. Nice charger high fashion garments and shoes. So just like the last collab, it is really nice. Retail on these is pretty high. It's like 240, 260, I can't remember. It's why I'm a little bummed. Alexander Wang in the high fashion world, they always price these a little bit higher. I'm gonna assume all the leather and suede make is why that price point exists. You know, some people are gonna absolutely love the shoe. Some people are absolutely gonna hate it, but I like the way it looks. Don't love the way it feels. That's the shoe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.